Hey guys, Zenian here, and uh, just want to let you know, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the uh, Stage 1 painting. This is the Part 2 video, so you might be a little bit confused if you just start watching. Anyways, uh, today we're going to show the second part where I finished painting um, Stage 2 of Everywhere at the End of Time. And this was a really crazy experience because I listened to... Like, I'd already gone through the first three stages while painting stage one, so I was listening to stage two for most of the time that I, uh, sorry, stage four for most of the time I was painting two, which was pretty crazy. stage two uh i'm very proud of this one the only thing is the flowers are too thick of course <laughs> but that's kind of hard to do with my my uh paint set anyways i have to say this was just crazy painting this was just unbelievable uh and the reason was because i painted it during stage four which i was kind of you know questioning like should i do that you know it's it's just, it's, you could paint stages one, two, and three while you're listening to one, two, and three, but once you're going into the four, five, and six, it's, it's, they're just so different and crazy. But one thing I realized was, like, if you're painting and looking at these clear, calm colors, and they're bright, and they're, they're nice, like, this actually looks pretty beautiful, um, stage four is just, it's just like the other stages. There are actual songs that you can hear through it, they're just more distorted, it's, it's almost enjoyable, which it, it shouldn't be, um, which is why they have the other picture. But, you know, painting this picture while listening to it actually made it enjoyable, and I really, you know, I really appreciate it now after listening to that, and I think maybe I could actually listen to stage four recreationally. I, I do listen to one, two, and three, but yeah, um, it's crazy, but it actually really made me appreciate stage four and it there were parts of it that were really enjoyable to listen to and you just have to just clear your mind and just paint something like just the background for this really helped so if you want to get a lot out of stage four you should listen to you should listen to it while painting stage two but you know if you want it to be crazy and hard to bear through then go ahead anyways i got i'm i'm on stage five right now made it uh little bit into stage five and uh, I need to clean up this there's just a huge mess right now and uh, that's it I'm not gonna do three what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna listen to this whole thing two more times and what we're gonna do is paint stage three and four while listening to it again and uh, three will probably be listened to during the first three stages so that'll be okay and then I'll paint four during four so it'll be good uh, and then maybe I'll even do it again and we'll paint five and six maybe maybe Anyways, I will uh, give you a better description once I'm done with all of this. Alright, so it's been probably a few weeks. Uh, it took stage two forever to dry just because, I mean, if you look at it, there's just so much paint on the, uh, on the figure here. If you really look at it, uh, it's technically off-centered, but, you know, I don't really care about that because, again, the main thing that we're making these is uh, to use as album covers for the B-side creation. And uh, if you already posted a B-side for stage one, and I'll have some for stage two coming out soon. So anyways, here's the wall that I'm gonna have them all up on. I measured it out and we're gonna have, uh, stage three is gonna go there, and then we'll do four, five, six down here. And this is like the main wall of my room, so it's just gonna be so cool to have that. I mean, we already have uh, Empty Bliss right there, so. You know, we're getting the whole collection together, and I know there are tons of other Believe in Kirby albums with tons of Ivan Seal art on them, uh, but mainly we're going to focus on these right now since we're trying to make the, the samples. So, anyways, I already explained most of it, but the reason that stage two was just such a crazy moving, and um, you know, it really, really changed my idea about stage four uh, is because... You know, imagine if you're listening to that that music, but you're painting just this really, really, like, 
kind of warm, soft color background. It's it's super cool. Uh, it's it's really just calm, you know, calm and surreal and empty because uh, this wasn't in here. So yeah, I mean, it didn't take too long to do the background background, but it probably for the first half hour, maybe an hour even of the stage two, I was just just working on filling in these colors, which it shouldn't need to take that long, but. It was just really crazy because I was able to start to pick apart the samples that were being used and they were really just normal songs, just slightly less distorted than, uh, or slightly more distorted than stage three. Like really it stage four, exact same, just getting more distorted. Um, and I could recognize even, I could even recognize a lot of the tunes we had, plenty of stuff from uh, the earlier stages in there, just, just more distorted. Some even, some was even clear. But really just painting such a calm picture like this and, and peaceful and just empty. There's just so much negative space in this. Um, and bright too, like the the blue on stage one was really dark and filled, so it, it wasn't as clear, but this is super clear if you look at it. I'm gonna be posting stage four, the audio, with uh, the stage two picture, not mine, the, the actual one. Just uh, the whole 90 minutes of it, if anyone wants to take a look at that, because really, it was, it was just crazy, and honestly, yes, I think I could listen to stage four recreationally now, only with headphones, it's, it's too bad without them. Uh, but I, I never thought that would happen. I was able to enjoy st the first three stages enough to to listen to them and just like really enjoy hearing them. Like, oh, I, I've gone through that and I I really like the tunes. Stage four, it might I might have to just you know be that's like the main thing I'm doing, not just having it in the background and go through the whole thing to really understand it. But yeah, I mean, stage four is my second favorite. Of the stages now and I don't think that there are very many people who could say that stage three was originally my favorite or uh, stage three is my favorite one was my second but I think stage four is just really brilliant in how it was done it's just chaotic but there's calm moments and um, I mean the, the the hell sirens part is just really crazy but there's also the the fourth section of it not the the uh, calm period the third section, it's not really that calm. The, the fourth one though, it really is a calm period before stage five. And most people say it's all fun until stage four, but really, if you're looking at this picture while you listen to it, I would say it's all calm until stage five because that is really something, once the, the jarbled, the warbled noises and all that stuff come in, that uh, I really don't think anyone can enjoy. Anyways, I'm just talking here and I could go on a ton about my experience. Uh, and I'll probably do a full like, each stage review later, later in the future. But yeah, I'm gonna start making some more uh, B-sides and uh, we'll get them coming out pretty soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.